Hey guys, Brian Boer with Berkshire Hathaway here with our monthly market update for the Fargo-Moorhead area. So uh, it's July 2020, so we're gonna look back at the June numbers and kind of see what's going on in the market so you guys can make the best decisions. So uh, way over here to the right, we have some year-to-date sold totals. First thing to look at is the bottom. We're actually really consistent. So even with COVID, even with all that stuff, you know, there was a little slow and then everything sped back up. We're kind of right on pace where we would be in a normal year or on pace with where we were last year. Uh, the biggest things that I see we have uh, significantly less houses selling uh, in that $100,000 to $200,000 range. And that's not because there's not buyers in that price range. Uh, that's because there's not a lot of houses in that price range. So like I said, we have the same number of buyers roughly. And so when people can't find houses here, they've been going up to these, these price ranges. So the buyers we lost here, if you add these numbers all up, uh, it kind of makes up for it, if that makes sense. Um, so what's happening right now, so if we look at June uh, of this year versus June of last year, here's a couple big things that I'm noticing. We have significantly less active houses on the market. So the people that are looking, you know, we're selling them at the same rate, uh, there's less houses for them to choose from. So uh, a buyer can't be as picky right now as they maybe could be in the past. Not only do we have less houses to choose from, we pended more properties June of this year as opposed to June of last year. So there's less houses to sell to choose from. Uh, they're selling faster. So if you're a buyer, you really have to have your ducks in a row. Uh, the good news is if you are a seller in these price ranges, there's some really cool things that you can do. So uh, not only can you probably get more for your property than you thought in the past, uh, if it's a property that you've owned for a number of years and you have not refinanced, um, if you're gonna stay there, refinance because it's just silly not to. Uh, but if you're considering selling, uh, now's a great time. So you can basically, you know, get rid of your higher interest loan, make some decent money, have a good down payment, maybe even knock out mortgage insurance completely and get a nicer house that you'll be set in for the next, you know, seven, 10, 15 years um, for not much more of a payment. I actually just met a client this week. Uh, they have a property that's maybe, maybe around, you know, 175, 185, um, but they haven't refinanced for a while. When they go to sell, they'll be able to take that down payment, buy a property around 300, and their mortgage is going to go up 200 bucks. Um, so just something to think about, especially if you're if you're ready to move out of your starter house into something that's more long term. Now is a really good time to do it. Um, so yeah, hopefully these numbers make sense. Uh, one last thing to note: the days on market is a little higher. I think that's kind of a false uh, indicator. So just keep in mind it takes. Uh, four to six weeks from when a property goes under contract to close. So a lot of these houses that are closing in June, they had a little kind of a lag where there was some uh, higher days on market because of the COVID stuff this spring. But um, honestly, that's, although there's still cases popping up, um, how the market is handling it is, is kind of uh, a non-factor at this point. So if you have any other questions about a specific property, feel free to give me a call. My number is 218-850-2004. Thanks.